it is. It's your boy, Made Man Mello, coming to you back live with some more Genshin Impact trailer reactions today. Again, as you saw yesterday, we formally got introduced again to Hu Tao, aka the Grim Reaper. Now we're going to get some more in depth gameplay and other things with the that said Grim Reaper. No matter how polite, no matter how cute, how wonderful she may seem, she's directing you to the afterlife, okay? Avoid at all costs. So let's go and take a look at Hu Tao, Fragrance, in the Thought. Let's get it. The people of Liyue value tradition, and their traditions are embodied in all manner of rites. Of these, the rites that mark life's end are of utmost importance. Liyue's funeral rites are complex, and only Wangsheng Funeral Parlor can conduct them to the satisfaction of all. Wangsheng has stood for 77 generations and has gained still greater fame in recent years, thanks to their eccentric young director, Hu Tao. When the sun's out, bathe in Hi, sunlight. Okay, we got but time. when the moon's out, bathe in moonlight. Hu Tao manipulates Pyro with ease and can sacrifice her HP to increase her damage output, cleansing the world of impurities with an unrelenting flame. When Hu Tao cooks a dish perfectly, she has a chance to obtain a suspicious dish of the same kind. Hu Tao's normal attack can combo up to six strikes, dealing physical damage to enemies. Hu Tao's charged attack consumes a set amount of stamina to lunge forward, dealing physical damage to enemies in her path. Hu Tao also has a unique effect when sprinting, allowing her to briefly disappear and pass through certain small foes. Hu Tao consumes part of her HP to cast her elemental skill, knocking nearby enemies back and entering the Pyramida Papilio state. This converts her attack damage to pyro damage, which cannot be overridden by another elemental infusion. Her resistance okay. to interruption is also okay. increased, and she receives an attack increase based on her max HP when entering this state. Gotcha. Paramita Papilio ends after a set duration, or when Hu Tao leaves the field. After unlocking the talent Flutterby, ending Paramita Papilio increases the crit rate of all of Hu Tao's party members, other than herself, like for a set duration. Moreover, while Paramita Papilio is in effect, Hu Tao's charged attacks apply the Blood Blossom effect to enemies it hits. Enemies affected by Blood Blossom will take pyro damage at set intervals. This effect automatically expires after a while. Only one Blood Blossom can exist on any one target at a time. And only Hu Tao can refresh its duration. Wang Sheng has a long heritage. It's said that their directors passed down a secret technique to traverse between life and death. Unafraid in the face of death, they instead unleash yet greater power. Once the talent Sanguine Rouge is unlocked, Hu Tao gains a pyro damage bonus when her HP is low. Pyre, pyre, pants on fire! Hu Tao commands a blazing spirit to deal pyro damage in a large AoE. When her elemental burst hits enemies, Hu Tao regenerates a certain percentage of her max HP. Gats, okay. Gats. A maximum of five enemies can affect this percentage. Gats. Additionally, using this skill when Hu Tao's HP is low, deals greater damage and regenerates more HP. Hu Tao's unique fighting style often imperils her. As such, she must coordinate with her teammates and choose the right moment to use her skills and manage her HP. Alright, I, I dig it. Hu Tao often begins by using her elemental it. skill to enter the Paramita Papilio state. In that last state. resort, when that HP go low, Then she alternates she between normal and charged attacks to deal pyro damage, applying blood blossoms onto enemies. She then leaves the field, using the crit rate increase from Flutterby to increase her teammates' damage output. 
When Hu Tao's HP is low, she can choose a group of enemies upon which to unleash her own burst. In a more Mary, so yeah, damage and regenerating the her <laughs> HP. Hella HP. Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor conducts rites of utmost solemnity, and its staff are used to speaking little. Making Hu Tao's liveliness seem an ill fit. Her elders once criticized her mischief-making, but having seen her immaculate conduct of the parlor's affairs, they could do naught but admit their error. She's Life and death are but two halves of an endless cycle. She's still the Grand Reaper, though. Life leads unto death, and death unto new life. Why then should death be taboo? Hu Tao has had the wisdom to see this, Though some of her elders have yet to do so. <laughs> like, just do right by us, okay? Just do right. When you pop up, don't don't be trying no stuff, all right? Don't be trying no trick. Don't be trying nothing. You here to help or you not? What, what's going on? Somebody about to die? Somebody need to pass over? It ain't me. Okay, she look good. She look damn good. I thought she was going to be more of a support, but she kicking ass. All right. All right, high risk, high reward, pyro. Guess we got a hell of a nice move set, especially with the stuff that she can do in and out of your party at the same time with that crit. That crit's gonna be extra dope. So, all right, Genshin. I love y'all. I'm, I'm almost gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it again. I love y'all. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for tuning in. This your boy, Maven Mellow. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Peace.